Welcome back, adventurers, to the adventures of Chile in Victoria 3. We started last time in 1836 with uh, a developing country with low industrialization and uh, a small budget. So we are working on improving our industries and our technologies and we want to get our population educated so we are trying to get schools going the easiest way to get schools is by enacting the religious schools law that we are trying to get passed um it's only supported by why can't i get that uh, it's only being supported by the industrialists in our government, not by the armed forces. I don't know why the armed forces wouldn't want people being educated and using better technologies. Um, speaking about the army, we have dropped in rank again to 34 and our current prestige is 28. That is just above uh, the cutoff. Uh, of 27 so if our prestige drops then our rank will be decreased to insignificant power that's not good because countries with such low prestige uh, they don't even qualify to be considered minor powers are on, of insignificant rank they struggle for their right to self-determination while trying not to appear too inconvenient to nearby major and great powers so yeah we do get 500 extra influence but uh, it will make us a target for other powers so um that's something we want to avoid definitely something we want to avoid and uh, let's get the clock running empiricism is spreading that's great we want empiricism And we're not being very successful with the religious schools. I'm starting to think we may need to get the um, the church on board. Or let's have a look at the price report. No second. Okay. All right. Um. We are researching this seven to twelve months left. If by that time we don't get uh, religious schools, we might actually just want to skip that and go for um, public schools. Because that will take longer, because to get public schools, we need uh, to get rid of state religion. Freedom of consciousness. Yeah, we would need to get the intelligentsia on board of the government. They would endorse this. They would like this. So we might want to stick with the Catholic Church. Um, what if we get the Catholic Church into the government? It drops our legitimacy. That's not good. That's not good. And it's only the Catholics, right, that want that. Apart from uh, it does, oh, the trade unions also, but they're marginalized, so. Yeah. No. No, no, no. Let's stick with uh, the government that we have now, the industrialists that we are boosting, and the armed forces that we are part of, and then um, we can go and get the uh, the schools that we want, be it somewhat slower. And we are still building our tooling workshop. 
I think we also want a construction sector. It will take money, but we're, we're, we have a lot of money currently. And this is unproductive. Yeah, we're stockpiling gold. And it becomes less and less um, effective. We talk about diminishing. Oh. They talk about diminishing returns there. Why can't I... In here. So, we could budget, 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 budget here. Yeah, we have quite a few taxes here. Mm. Let's not play around with this too much unless we have to. Ideally, we want to make our clothes cheaper so that our pops do not have to spend so much on clothes. Um, yeah, right. yeah. They are still... They are still 80% above the relative, the normal price, and uh, they are 75% for furniture, yeah, do we make any furniture, do we make any furniture, there are, yes, we have some subsistence farms that make furniture, That's the thing, we would love to expand our industry and start all kinds of industries for stuff that we need, but it takes so much time. Um, I mean, currently our Q... Ah, we got that. Um, government administration we're working on, yes. Tobacco plantations, 109 weeks, I mean, come on. And then we want... We want to expand our mines, our iron mines at least, our logging camps maybe, maybe we want some coal mines, that would help us. So now we have two tooling workshops, both in Santiago, using pig iron tools, and we can't go to the water tube boiler yet. And we will need coal for that, so we should start building coal mines. We also would love to have paper mills, furniture manufacturers, textile mills, food industries. We will need steel mills, and so on and so forth. And if we had more bureaucracy, which we will have once we build it another other government building, um, then we could import more, right? Although we might need another port and make more sh more ships. Anyway, uh, discipline and punish. The role of discipline in the new religious schools has been raised by the armed forces as an area of improvement in the plans for this new education system. This is not merely about keeping an orderly classroom so that knowledge can be imparted, it is about imparting character. After all, we have been given an enormous responsibility by the parents of these children, who do all they can to raise them as upstanding citizens. Too often we find boys joining the military service whose character has been almost irrevocably ruined by an unruly youth, 
and a lack of respect for authority. It needn't be so. So do we want to focus on the curriculum? Get a faster enactment time. Or should we work this into the school system? And have a slower enactment time. But a discipline focus would give us just that. A curriculum focus would give us just that. And minus two armed forces approval. The success is really low right now. I think we should focus on the curriculum. Let's do that. Um. And uh, Santiago de Vidal is uh, now the leader of this group. Yeah, and we should probably promote him, but that will cost bureaucracy again. Uh, we don't have enough of that, so that will have to wait until we get this um, government administration building. Right? Yeah, we'll generate bureaucracy. Okay. In our case, that is good. Uh-oh. Yeah, we shouldn't have uh, anger to the armed forces here. Can we bolster them? We need more bureaucracy. Can we limit our trade routes? Oh, who has died? Patricia de la Cruz, leader of the Catholic Church, has died. Okay. And now the Catholic Church has Juan Francisco Cabrera, is meticulous. Okay. Divine right plus ten authority. They have engines of progress. That is very nice. And they're job creators. That's exactly what we need. And uh, armed forces is not giving us any extra trade. Okay. What can we do for you? We can promote you, but we don't have enough bureaucracy unless we get rid of one of the trade routes. And this one is not doing much for us. That will make clothes more expensive, probably. But We're still exp importing clothes from Britain, though. In paper. How are we doing with Britain? Can we form like a trade agreement? We can't. Minus eight, okay. If we improve our GDP faster than they improve theirs, that could help. And how about Argentina? They're cordial to us, which is good. They have the intelligentsia as part of the government. Mm -hmm. And they have law enforcement. We might look at that too. 
We're not having a lot of success with our uh, schools, which is very important. We need people who are educated so they can do all kinds of jobs. Um, let us um, promote him. Right, so he's now level two, which means he can oversee more battalions. It also means, as leader of his interest group, they should become more important, have more support, clout. Okay, and hopefully that will raise our prestige just a little bit. What else can we do for them? We do have a bit of money, right? We do have a bit of money. So we can improve something. Artillery yet. No. could add some barracks or a naval base. Yeah, I don't think there's much we can do at the moment. This is not good. We should be at least rank 35. We're now on the edge of becoming insignificant. Uh, wait a moment. What did we have here? Clothes became much more expensive. Yeah. That will make the people unhappy. Okay, we have empiricism. We have empiricism. That means we should be able to get rid of the state religion if we get the intelligentsia on board. And then we can get um, public schools. I mean, we should keep the industrialists happy and go for religious schools. I mean, changing this is its own process, which will be very hard. So only the intelligentsia supports this. The, it is um, a struggle between these two, huh? and we would prefer the intelligentsia, but it seems the Catholic Church is is easier to work with. But it will still make our government less legitimate. Both. So I don't know what to do about that. Wait it out, I guess. And we now have religious schools. That is great. So we now have the education institution. Industrialists endorse this change. The Catholic Church endorses this change. All right. 
so now we should get better qualified people for all kinds of jobs because for example um, the government building government administration employs a lot of bureaucrats and bureaucrats need to be trained they need to be able to read and write they are part of the middle strata so they need education So we are building one. It doesn't really say. Uh, qualifications. Okay, anyway. Defamatory article. Newspaper called uh, the Los Rios Bulletin has printed a bigoted article about the Patagonian people living there. We can suppress the article or we can let it be released. Suppress it. That gives us less authority. Yeah, just that. Or ignore it and then there is a negative standard of living modifier for the Patagonians. How many Patagonians do live in Los Rios? Um, Pops. Yeah, I want to see a detailed breakdown of my Pops. Uh, this is Los Rios. Population. Um, peasants? Was it peasants? It's Patagonians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, where do we see that? You're here. There are 53k of them in our country. That's quite a small minority. 4% in Chile. Shall we ignore it? I mean, our standard of living is um, quite precarious here. I mean, it's not bad per se, but don't want it to go down. I mean, we're already lower than uh, the start. 11.8 is what we started, and now we're at 11.2. But less authority. Well, now we have we have excess. Suppress it. Okay. So now that we have. Um, education, the Catholics will become stronger, but also we'll get more um, qualified people. It's become more expensive, tools have become less expensive. Okay. Iron is getting more expensive. And we unlocked um, Napoleonic Warfare. Okay. We only have tobacco after this. I think we want. Uh, is it wool? Iron mines. Oh, we can make them more efficient by switching to atmospheric engine pump. But. That means we need more coal. Mm. 
Yeah, so we should build a coal mine. And we can only do it in Los Rios. Okay, let's do that. How are we doing here with um, infrastructure? Yeah, okay. We'll be at the limit then. So, we should... Um, production, political, decrease. Yeah. It goes to authority. I think it is if we should go for this would also be nice but I mean it's getting more expensive. Can we make our iron mines more uh, efficient, or did we already look at that? Yeah, we need an atmospheric engine pump, for which we need coal. Let's do that anyway. Uh-oh. Standard of living is dropping. Clothes are expensive, yeah. What was that? We don't care. Ecological warfare. Fair between Santiago de Vidal and Andy Baltics and the Cruz's spouses reach our ears, threatening to affect his public image if we don't destitute the general. He is the leader of the armed forces interest group, right? But he's not our leader of government. Uh, we still need a general, and these are personal matters. Land owners get covered with fair. That's fine. Santiago de Vidal gets syphilis. Okay. Um, that's a personal matter. We cannot trust a man like this. He will step down. Uh, we still need a general. Yeah. And let's see how this uh, expands. Let's see. Okay, so slowly we're getting more and more land here. Chemical tools unlocked. That is very nice. Paper's getting more expensive. Okay. That is fine. So we have more influence that we can use for something. Don't need more gold right now. Longing camps, so mills, yeah.
A paper meal or textile meal would be very welcome. This also needs coal. Yeah, we really needed coal, man. Under two weeks, goodness gracious. Yeah, let's keep looking at better production methods. Steel tools. Less iron, more steel. Aye. Uh, establish a trade route. Begin import of small arms. I know how to do that. Import small arms. Um, from the Austrian market, I suppose. I'd love to get it from the British market, but it seems... It's unproductive, so they may not want to sell it to us. Okay. And we still have bureaucracy left over. That is good. Uh, can we up this? Okay. Um, so we could open another trade route. We're dropping in rank, but we still have enough prestige for now. So who is ahead of us? The Papal States, the Grand Duchy of Finland, Cuba. What is Cuba doing that we are not? Consolidation here. Not seeing anything really out of the ordinary. All right. Um, coal mines. We're working on the coal mines. Very good. And we're working on uh, the water tube boiler here. Excess gold, fabric, meat, tobacco. Iron is a very expensive furniture. Let us see. 
Ironmates, what can we do here? Nothing. We, we are not even making any furniture. So let's import more. And we're not importing furniture. Okay. We can't. Oh, here it is. Uh, British market, Austrian market. Well, we want to stay friends with the Brits. So let's do that. Improve access to consumer goods. What's this about? Many of your posts are reported that they are having a hard time getting access to grain. Alleviating these pains for your posts will increase standard of living. Grain in the Chilean market is less than 25 more expensive than base price. Uh, really? Grain. is 42% more expensive. Oh, it recently became more expensive. Hmm. Do we have any grain production yet? We have one wheat farm. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. We could do maintain single crop, which gives us more grain and a lower grain price. Let's do that. Harvesting tools, that should give us more as well. And we need the, the tech for that. What are we working on? What? Water tube boiler, okay. Then after that, we should do intensive agriculture, although we're already being exposed to that. Okay. This should only take 10 months. Okay. Grow GDP. Okay, we have now a GDP of 1 million. That is nice. So our GDP is growing. That We're doing something right. Our literacy is growing. But our standard of living is going down. Because some goods are very expensive. And we now are at an authority deficit. Okay, so... We should... Since we are making enough money, um, ease up on some of the taxes. Maybe. This one. Okay. You put tariffs imports. And then not put any consumption ta tax on it. Okay. Ah, oh, wait a moment. From the ground up. 
Lobo Man has risen as the popular leader of the intelligentsia, with some not so pleased by such a social mobility. At first he was living with his poor widowed mother, then with his terrible uncle. Then they both died, it was said, and he became an orphan and fled the state. Then he was seen as a wine merchant, as young as he was, and some say he tried to become a lawman of some kind. Then he tried writing, from which he has been moderately successful, and now, now, here you see, leader of the intelligentsia, finally at peace. He has earned this job, definitely. So who is this guy? Miguel Algrao. He is imperious. Okay. And uh, clothes are still very expensive. So we want to import more clothes, but nobody really wants to sell them to us. So we'll need to make start making them ourselves, I guess. Production lens. Dearly, we want to build more iron mines, I guess. Available labor, 81k peasants. Okay. Let's build one in Santiago. So we don't have more bureaucracy. That's the other thing though. We could build more government buildings, but then we also need more money. Okay. We unlock banking, that's 10% more minting, that's 10% more making money. Alright. Improve access to consumables. Wait a moment, while well, we read this, many of your pops are reporting that they are having a hard time getting access to grain, yes. Um, but didn't we do something about that? Yeah, the wheat farms, we put, uh, we switched the production method to harvesting tools. And uh, this one to maintain single crop. Yeah, we, we need soil enriched farming. Once this tech is done, we'll do that. Um, we, yeah, the only other way is to import more wheat, right? But we can't. Oh, we can. Uh -huh. From the Argentinian market. For example, but now we are in negative bureaucracy. Is there a trade route that is um, not productive?
eat more cold ones. Yeah, we need to cancel one of these trade routes. This one. going down and this is not and I don't understand this ammunition Uh, we're looking at the Argentina market now, that's why. Okay. Can I... Cancel this route. Apparently not. Because we're exporting. Which one should I cancel? There's nothing I can do about this, right? Let's export. These are imports. Maybe i uh, cancel this one, but we need grain. We really need more grain. If we cancel the liquor, then liquor becomes prohibitively expensive. Price impact of liquor in the Chilean market it goes down? Let's do that. Liquor price goes down since we cancelled the import. This makes no sense to me. Oh well. That's great. Another politician died. Miguel Grau already. Oh. Education investment increased. Okay, that's great. Um, we should look for another law to implement, right? Improve supply networks. Yeah, we need to build another port. Yeah. But we had 200, didn't we? Why did it go down so much? So, learn games. Improve supply network, that will do. Grow GDP. It's stationary right now. Make interest group happy. The intelligentsia. We need to make the intelligentsia happy. And we need a health system law. Really? Yeah, I know how. 
I guess it's it's good to have a health system, but it requires pharmaceuticals. Yeah, this one. Bureaucracy cost minus ten. Hmm. Trade unions, really. Industrialists, the private one, and this is the Catholic Church. So we either need to get the Catholic Church in, or we need to get pharmaceuticals, and then let the uh, industrialists take care of it. So what do we want to promote? Big religion or big pharma? That is the question here. Pharmaceuticals. Yeah, we said we would go for this, but we're being exposed to this, so we'll get this anyway. Yeah, there's a 22... Uh, wow, that's really small. 20 to 62... What does that even mean? Percent chance or the spread? Weekly, no, points. We have 50 points of innovation and this. Okay, so we'll get this anyway. This is almost done. 10 weeks left. And then pharmaceuticals is here, isn't it? Yeah. Then maybe we should do pharmaceuticals. Mm. I guess, I guess. Yeah. We have a lot of shortages, but there's not a lot we can do about it. Just patiently build more, and then whenever we have enough bureaucracy, we can import more. And we're dropping in rank. I think we need more um, government administration, but it will cost us. But we have gold reserves. So I guess we could do that. I guess we could do that. So, we need to build... another government administration. And I want to build a port. So we get more convoys. It's just Santiago. Why don't we build one here in uh, Los Rios as well? In Los Rios, yeah. Then do that. Yeah, clothes will stay expensive for a few more years. Just make them yourselves. And what about the grain? 50% above base price. Okay, that's acceptable. Divine right activated more authority. That's great. And we got the water tube boiler. So we can uh, make some stuff more efficient. Shall we go for pharmaceuticals? Three years left. My goodness.
No, or, well, we will get this anyway, right? And eventually we need railways, but to really get that we need steel. To get steel, we need more iron and coal. Right. So we need to build more iron mines, more coal mines. Alright, let's see what we can do to make our iron mines more productive. This is not needed yet. Yeah. Pretty good. Iron and coal are more... Well, iron is cheaper, coal is more expensive. Because it's in higher demand. The industrialists are not powerful, yes. Let's see this. Iron is slightly cheaper, meat is slightly more expensive. Okay, fabric. Yeah, we're good with Bolivia. Ah. Uh, We're good with Bolivia. Um, can we do anything like a trade agreement? Minus three. Oh. So if we grow our GDP more. Or become more similar ideologically. They might accept a trade agreement. Yeah, none of the other things. Maybe a um, defensive pact. If we would develop our armies more, then we have more power projection. Okay. Well, that is uh, enough, I think, for this episode. So thank you for watching once again. Hit that like button and uh, see you next time.